my friends just bought a new Lenovo laptop, the Lenovo S530. The build quality of this laptop is very good. It's full, mat it's full metal, um, it's very solid. It's much more better than the HP or Dell counterparts which feels very soft on hand. But it gets dirty very easily since it's purely black. There is a shiny logo on the right side. If you rotate a bit, you can see that it's pretty beautiful and it can deflect that light very easily. There is no any other things on the A side. On the back side, there is a very large fan area and the, the hot wind will come out at the back. Now let's look at some external ports for this laptop. We first see the Harman Kardon sound for this laptop. Uh, there is a earphone port, a USB Type A port, and a charger port. On the other side, there is an HDMI full size port, a USB Type A port, and another USB Type C port which can help you video out. This laptop can use a single hand to open it, but it feels a bit unsafe because if you put your hand on the left side or the right side, then you will easily rotate the laptop or even break it. The laptop houses a 13-inch display. The bezel is very narrow on three sides, but the bottom is pretty wide. The good side is that it still houses a camera at the top of the barrel, while unlike some other brands, they house the camera at the bottom. The keyboard is the general Lenovo U-shaped keyboard. Um, the feedback is very good. Once you press it, you will feel that the keyboard is very strong. It's not similar to the MacBook or MacBook Pro Caesar keyboard. It feels a lot better or even luxurious. The touchpad is a very large area touchpad. I'm not very sure about the material, but it feels very smooth on hand. Next, we go to talk about some of the hardware. We open IDA64. This laptop has a 45 watt hour battery. When it was original shipped, it was actually something like 46.6 watt hours, a bit larger than original. The RAM is pretty low, it's just LPDDR3 single channel 8 gigabytes. The processor is very good, a Core i7 high frequency. The display is, the graphic card is not really that much good, but the Intel graphics is good enough for everyday work. The display monitor is an LGD display with a 100 sRGB garment. The solid state drive is the latest Samsung PM981A. Uh, now we are going to see the CPU performance and the GPU performance of this laptop. The benchmark is 659 CB. It's slightly lower than general i7, which can run above 750 or above. This laptop, the Performance is a bit lower than its counterpart, but it may be ideal for those who just need light work. The solid state drive runs very fast. I am running 10 gigabytes AS SSD, and everything is just fantastic. The GPU and CPU, as you can see, is pretty powerful. It is sufficient to edit, decode, or encode 1080p or even 4K 30 frames per second video. If you do not play with raw video, 
probably you can also play a bit with 4K 60p. We're going to perform some stability test later on the CPU and GPU. Currently, we are on power saving mode. The temperature is approximately 40 with a frequency around 1 gigahertz. We turn on the performance mode by pressing the FN plus Q. We are going to run 10 minutes CPU stress test under IDA 64. Once we started the test, the temperature rises very quickly. The power level is around 30 watts with a very skyrocketing frequency. Now we are approximately 10 minutes stability te test for processor. The temperature was limited to approximately 70 Celsius degree to ensure a cool feeling. The power limited to 30 to 14 watts. The frequency is approximately 2.3. The i3 is million, the i7 is now millionless. The good side is that even you have a metallic build, uh, build body, after 10 minutes of stability test, the whole shell feels very cool, except for the back of the whole air. We let the laptop rest for a while and then click the GPU to make sure that CPU and GPU are under stability test at the same time. At the start, the temperature rises extremely quickly to 80 Celsius degree with a frequency around 2.5 or 2.6. Current GPU power is approximately 10 watts, very high. Basically, the total CPU package power is around 20 watts and GPU takes half which is around 10 watts. After 10 minutes of stability test, now the temperature, the power has dropped a lot. The GPU frequency is now stabilized to 900 to 1000. This frequency is pretty much acceptable. The power level was limited to 15 watts for the total CPU and GPU. The CPU now can only run under a very low frequency around 1.5 gigahertz due to the limited power to the CPU cores. The performance of this Lenovo S530 is not meant for those benchmark guys or those markers, gamers. It is meant for those people who just need a basic laptop for everyday Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. They do not need long time high performance. This will make the laptop a lot cooler. The noise of this laptop is very, very low. Although the actual sound in dB level might not be that much slow, uh, might not be that much small, but the sound is very steady and not annoying even you take it to a library. You will not hear any zla zla sound. Finally, we are going to give some advices. It has always been said that Lenovo is selling better laptops, better desktops outside China. However, for this Lenovo IdeaPad S530, it's not really that good if you compare this model to some other models from Lenovo itself. This laptop is pretty decent for those people who just need a laptop for daily work, it's decent. But if you want to run some photo editing or video editing, then the 8GB of RAM from this model is extremely limited. 
If you stay in China mainland, you have a very good option, the Lenovo Xiaoxing Pro 13. Below 1,000 United States dollars, you can get core core, six core with a discrete NVIDIA GPU, and the weight is the same as S530. If you are stay in China, be sure to get the Xiaoxing Pro 13. This S530 um, is selling well outside China. This is because that the counterparts from Dell or HP is not really good. If you look at what Dell offers, the Inspiron 13 5000, you can see that similarly there is only 8 gigabytes of RAM. And if you had experience with only uh, with any Inspiron products, you will feel that the methodic build quality is pretty low. You can easily bend the laptop easily without any problem. If you want a better build quality, then please go to an Aspire On 7000 or even XPS series. As for HP, there is only HP MV series. MV series has been known for its high price, starting from approximately 1.5k United States dollars, which is far pricier than the level of S530. And the MV series, all of these laptops may have some overheating issues, which is a traditional problem of most HP laptops. And this is why S530 is actually a pretty good model compared to other models from other brands. My personal suggestion for most buyers would be a Lenovo Yoga C640. This one has a maximum 16 gigabytes of RAM, a similar lightweight and good build uh, body. It has even a touch, touch screen and you can flip it to use with convenience with a pen. Additionally, the laptop battery is insanely huge, around 60 watt hours. Compared to the 45 watt hours in S530, it can easily give you approximately 10 hours battery life. And some testing agencies gives about 20 hours local video playback. For the C640, it has much more power, much more functions than S530, with everything in a similar price range. As for the external ports, it only lacks an HDMI ports. However, for most people, if you just buy a connector, it's not really an issue. Thank you very much. Simply an amateur, thanks.